Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of September 7th through the 13th. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Pisces for the week ahead? Keep in mind the timing is still fluid, all right? And this reading may or may not be for you. Not every reading is for you, okay? So... What do we have for Pisces for the week ahead? Ooh, yin yang, number 22, which equals a four. So, this is a perfect match. This is about um, opposites attract. We have a partnership here where you may be... Uh, Connecting with somebody that is your opposite. It could be a Virgo. It could be a Virgo. It could be, a, and I, you know, it's funny because I was going to say, listen to your rising. Make sure that you, I was going to say, make sure you listen to your rising sign. I don't know. You may be dealing with somebody that is your opposite, but their apps, or this is your, this could be your perfect match. Um,. There's somebody around you that can comp you guys you can complement each other very well, put it that way. But you need to have faith, you need to have trust, you need to take a step, you need to make a choice. There's a decision to that needs to be made because there's a decision to do you want to connect with this person or not? There could be some sort of opposition, you know. There is some opposition. I'm sure of it. Um, there's just something about this person that you're dealing with that you connect with. You connect with this person, but there's a lot of differences. But these differences are what make you the perfect match. You know what I'm saying? So what do we have for Pisces? Ooh, Ace of Wands. This is the Ace of Wands. So this is, a, the, well, like what it says, his passion excited, ignited. <laughs> but this is about, well, the Ace of Wands is about excitement. And I think that's probably why that came out of my mouth. This, I feel like this is definitely a very exciting time for you. This is an ex exciting opportunity for growth with somebody that you are probably meant to be with. Okay. Um, this is go for it. This is a, this is a new desire, a new drive and, uh, uh, instant attraction. Uh, I feel like you are going to be on fire this week. You're going to be, there's some sort of connection that is probably going to, uh, ignite you by the looks of things. This is an exciting time to start fresh because the Ace of Wands is about starting fresh. It's like you, you, you are going, because we go from one to twos, twos are about connections. All is well, because fours is, is universal protection, okay? It's angel guidance, universal guidance, and this one equals a four. But if you add these all up, it equals a five, which is expect the unexpected. So I think that you will be making a choice uh, in regards to a partnership this week. I feel like you have an exciting opportunity that is coming to you. we got to get some of these. I almost forgot. Um, there's an opportunity This is a, this is, uh, that happens all of a sudden because this is a very sudden, sudden, um, it could be a sudden connection. If you are single, you could, this could be all of a sudden. And this is, twos are about change. They really are. So you could have a sudden change this week. And, and the Ace of Wands could be a new partner, and it could happen all of a sudden. So interesting. Um, you're gonna feel. You're gonna feel somebody's vibration. You're gonna feel it very strongly. One.
what a mess. I think it's a messy situation that you are involved in. There's too many there. There is. Let's keep going. What do we got? We got three. We need one more. Yeah, I feel like you're you're involved in some sort of messy situation. Um, someone is behaving stupidly. July is pretty prominent. I'm not sure how, but July is prominent for you. Could be uh, something has happened in July or some, next July may be uh, when something comes to fruition. Casket. Oh my God. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. So this is the end of a situation. Spiritual love. And this is definitely a spiritual love. You definitely have a spiritual love connection. I feel like you are going to be excited about a fresh new start because this is a new start. There's something going on here where uh, you are connecting. Maybe you're, this, you're connecting with somebody that you, this is like a soulmate connection. But there's somebody that is acting stupid. So, hmm. This is about love. It definitely is about love. You have a, an exciting opportunity. And for some of you, it's because somebody's leaving your life. Maybe you have another soulmate that you are going to be connecting with. Very sudden energy here, so just keep that in mind. The moon, which happens to be your card. There it is. We got it twice now. So this is this is the same card, different well, different deck, but this is an exciting new opportunity. This is a new desire. All of a sudden, you're being given an opportunity for change. You're gonna feel you are going to feel excited. It feels like you you may be broken free from something. I feel like whoever you are dealing with. Uh, I feel like this is their energy. This is your energy. This is the overall energy. You are, this is this is a new start. This is a fresh start. I feel as though if you have been if you have been feeling insecure or unstable or whatever, you're you're about to get an opportunity for growth. Things are going to change for you. Now, whoever you are dealing with. Uh, beware because I think that there's something going on that you may not be aware of okay there's something going on within them whoever you are dealing with you're about to see something see something that you may not have seen before because this is there they may have been lying to you about something about how their health or how they feel whoever you've been dealing with and you've probably been giving deep thought to you know whether you want to even be with this person or not now the nine of pentacles in reverse is a need for discipline you must take action this is you complete you they don't complete you so this is about a partnership and that's why this card came out i think there is somebody that you have a soulmate connection with and I'm sorry to say this, that you, someone is going out of your life or the end of a situation. And I think this is from, from these twos to one, and this is independence. So you may be breaking free from somebody. Or this person is letting you go. Somebody could have been holding on to you. This is a reality check. Truths being revealed. I feel like we have a sudden departure here as well this week. It's like you don't even see it coming. Hmm. Whoever you're dealing with is overwhelmed. They're overwhelmed. 
Uh, they're, they're trying to do too much. They're overextending themselves. Uh, and you cannot avoid disruption. And you may have been ignoring the fact that somebody is doing too much. Um, this is sneaking away. And this is very sneaky behavior. I feel like there's going to be somebody that... It's almost like they sneak away in the middle of the night. Um, let me just get the rest of these cards. Let me just fix this. We're talking about the 7th through the 13th, right? Now that tower reversed is, uh, you can't avoid it. You may have been a, a, able to avoid this disruption, but you can't avoid it anymore. You can't avoid it. Okay. This is, this is, uh, outdated thinking as well. I feel like we, we, uh, somebody's going to be running away or they're escaping something. They're, they're leaving everything behind. Um, oh. I feel as though uh, the overall energy is the Nine of Swords, okay? So that's the overall energy for the week. The Nine of Swords is depression, it's sadness, it's despair, anguish, feeling guilty. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. That kind of energy. I feel like it's going to be a stressful week. I do. I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. That's not an easy energy to be in. So I feel as whoever you are dealing with is overwhelmed. Is they are overwhelmed. They are, they are, have too many responsibilities. They are very, 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 you know, they're trying to do everything. They're not really looking where they're going. And I feel like, you know, um, they're just trying, somebody's trying to do too much. And that is the person that you are dealing with. It's, it's not you. And I feel like this person is needing to take a time out. They're, they're needing, they're in a dark place. They are in a dark place. And they're, and they're, and it's like, they just, they need happiness. Whoever you're dealing with is needing to heal. They need to heal. They need a new beginning. They need warmth. They need healing. They need love. Whoever you're dealing with. But it feels like they're, they're it's almost like there's a rejection here. Okay. Um, that moon reverse is, is a reality check. I think that something happens in the night. And I don't know why I want to keep saying that. But I think it comes out of nowhere. Um... I feel as though you are going to be given an opportunity to start a new life. Okay, you are. This is an exciting opportunity, but I feel like you're going to have to leave the past behind. I feel like you are, this is a win-win situation for you. I feel like you are going to be urged to uh, not stay wherever you're at. To, to go, to go. I think you are going to be given an opportunity. It feels like freedom. It feels like freedom. It feels like you're going to be broken free from something that has been weighing you down, Pisces. Maybe maybe you've been in a situation with a partner that you felt was your soulmate. And maybe they were. Maybe they were. But we have multiple soulmates in a lifetime. Okay? Maybe this was a spiritual love connection. And now it's, it's time for you to step into that next um, soulmate connection. And I do feel like you do have a soulmate connection here. Maybe it's, maybe you need to be free for a little while and take care of yourself and, and work on your abundance and, you know, pick yourself up from whatever this situation is. I feel like you're going to be experiencing some upheaval this week, some chaos in your life where, you know, you, you, uh, you aren't left, you aren't left with some sort of false sense of security that you have been holding on to. I think you may have been holding on to something that was uh, weighing you down and the universe is, oh no, it's time for that to go. It is, it's time for you that to go so that you can be free, so that you can live. I feel like this really is a breakthrough for you. This is a new beginning. I think it's an exciting new beginning. But you have been engaging in something that was based on a false sense of security. Okay? Seriously. And I feel like there's some extreme health problems here. And you may be experiencing a permanent loss. You know, this is very painful. Um, you know, it feels like somebody is, is slipping away. They're sneaking away. Um, and, and you just, maybe you never saw it coming. They just, they just leave in the middle of the night or they leave when you're not home or something like that. Or, I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. Um, I do, I mean, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. I mean, it is what it is. 
uh, this is going to open up a new opportunity for you to uh, be successful elsewhere. I think that you are going to get a lot of support. I think that you're going to get a lot of support from people that that respect you and and tell you to you know don't don't deceive yourself don't cheat yourself it's time for you to go i think this is a golden opportunity for you to build a new foundation probably by yourself elsewhere i think that you know i don't know if you're dealing with a scorpio or a taurus virgo capricorn maybe another pisces cancer leo Whatever is happening, I feel like you've been avoiding this for a while. There's been a temporary delay, perhaps. And I think there's been a, some signs that were missed. And I think that you are about to experience... It feels like it's 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 a loss. And, and, and whatever this loss is, it's, somebody, it's almost like somebody is moving out of the home and they're leaving the home and it's very, very sudden. Um... Overall, you are you are gonna be you're gonna you're gonna be a winner, okay? Because the six of wands is a vin winner. It's a victory. It's making progress. It's being recognized, being recognized for who you are. I think that you will be recognized. I feel like you will be urged to go after something better whatever that means to you this is the time of transition okay it is with this six of this six of uh wands okay i think it's a time of transition for you i don't i don't see that like what, what what you're doing is you're headed towards balance you're taking a journey you're all done you you're all done fighting this is this is totally freedom for you that's what what I feel like this is. I feel like you're being broken free from something that, you know, has held you back. We do have we have freedom here. Whoever you're dealing with, the person that you are dealing with, it feels like they um there's a poor health. There's poor health here. And I feel like this person um I don't know if there's a collapse. There could be a collapse that you never saw coming. Um, there's definitely some unforeseen problems here. There's sneaky behavior. Somebody is, 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 is sneaking around. If And for some of you, and I don't know who this is for, if there's been some sort of uh, cheating going on or lying, somebody could get caught. They could get caught. Um... There's definitely a departure of some sort. Somebody is, is just leaving. And it feels like they're leaving in the middle of the night. You know, before the sun comes up. Whoever you're dealing with just wants to be happy. You know, they want to be free. They do. They want to be free. They don't. They don't want to. They don't want to be held back. They don't want to be. Uh, carrying this they don't want to they don't want to be uh, doing this anymore that's whoever you are dealing with um, I feel like you may you may end up feeling when this whenever this happens you may be this may may, may bring up some insecurities of yours you may be feeling uh, unstable <laughs> Um, but this gives you an opportunity to build a new foundation elsewhere. Some of you are going to be getting a golden opportunity. You're going to be getting an offer from somebody. I think that you have a lot to offer, but you have to know your value. You know, have to know your worth. And I think you've been in a situation that <sighs> perhaps with an individual that didn't know your value and didn't know your worth. You could run into somebody that you sparks fly instantly. Okay, this could be, it is seriously, we have some sparks flying here. This is a new life for you. You are going to be stepping into a new life. 
but you're but before you do you have to hold your head up high you have to hold your head up high you're it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of work it's not gonna be easy you're gonna have to uh set goals and follow those goals it, it feels like you're gonna have to come out of fantasy land as well you can't you can't you have to be realistic you have to be practical I feel like you are going to be getting some sort of profit after a loss, which is sad to say. This is ac ap this is actually a gain, okay? So anyway, Pisces, I feel like you have an, an opportunity for happiness here. When, once you are broken free from somebody and the universe is in control, not you. This is universal change. That tower in the reverse is right in the middle. You may have been avoiding this for some time. You may you may have. Looks like you have been. Okay, this is trying to avoid, you know, pretending that everything is okay. Everything is not okay. And there's going to be an, an, a, an, a, a disruption. There's going to be an explosion of some sort. An internal disruption. And you're going to need to find your self-discipline to not blame yourself for missing whatever has happened. Don't blame yourself for it. I think that you need to take action and I do feel by the end of the week you are going to be uh, you're going to be in the victory seat however that resonates with you. I mean this is the victory seat. You may you may not see this as a blessing as it happens but it is a blessing. <laughs> Trust me. This is all a blessing. This will give you an opportunity uh, to be happy. Whoever you are dealing with um, is looking for something new. They're looking for good health. They're looking for something more positive. And I and I'm not saying that you're not, but I just I just feel like. You are going to be broken free. We, I have freedom here. You are being broken free from a false sense of security that can't be fixed. I feel like there's going to be an internal disruption that, uh, you know, shocks you. Somebody may, there's some sort of uh, falling down as well. Somebody may hit the ground. They can't walk. Anyhow, Pisces, I feel as though this week you can expect some, uh, an, this is a fresh start. You're going to be, it feels like you're going to be broken free and you're going to be given an opportunity to start fresh and to leave all of this bullshit behind. Some of you are going to be moving to a warmer place or your person is whoever you're whoever we're talking about there is there is I mean the tower right in the minute middle reversed or upright where you have been avoiding this change in the universe says okay you're, you can't avoid it for forever it's time it is. It's time. It's time for you to drop this heavy weight. It's time for you to drop this burden. And start over. You're going to be starting over this week. By the end of the week, you're going to be starting over. A lot of you are going to be starting over alone. Alone. 
but that ace of wands is a an opportunity for growth and there there could be a new partner that is coming maybe it's in july of next year light is going to be shed on somebody's poor health situation put it that way there's been some sort of ignorance here it's like pretending everything is okay. Everything is not okay. So the, so the universe gives you a rude awakening and proves to you that everything is not okay. So be prepared for... It feels like it's a collapse. And I feel like things happen very, very fast. It is definitely all of a sudden. It could be a sudden departure. Good luck.